Well, uh, good morning to everybody. Happy to see you here uh, in Bari. And we are very glad to host you here in this place. The name of this place is Officina degli Sordi. It's a place where uh, Puglia Creativa has, is uh, at the and, and you can see it's a place in which you can uh, break uh, creativity. Uh, it is an example of a urban uh, regeneration through uh, cultural and creative uh, activities. Here, uh, a lot of uh, cultural and creative enterprise as they uh, have their uh, headquarters. And it uh, uh, became also a point of uh, uh, reference for the uh, quarter that is most popular quarter. It is uh, not a, a simple uh, uh, quarter. It is a very difficult quarter. So we are uh, very, very glad to host you uh, here. Well, today we are celebrating the uh, final event of the Chimera Plus, uh, Plus uh, project, a capitalization project of the previous uh, project in which we met our lead partner, uh, Regione Friuli uh, Venezia Giulia. And uh, this is the capitalization project in which uh, the two giver partners, uh, Puglia Creativa and uh, uh, Friuli Venezia Giulia region, uh, had, have uh, worked uh, as mentor uh, for three uh, receiver partners. The aim of the project is to foster the role of cultural and creative uh, uh, industry as catalyst of innovation and urban sustainable uh, regeneration. Uh, the project was an online project with online event, but we decide, all the partners should decide to transform it, to shift in a face-to-face -face event, and we are very happy uh, of this choice. So we thank you, all the partnership that has accepted to uh, shift the event in a live, uh, in a face-to-face uh, -face, uh, event. Uh, we uh, thanks uh, all the speakers that accepted our uh, invitation and our staff that work really hard to um, to aim this uh, this goal uh, well the agenda is very full uh, we have an event uh, divided in four uh, panel the first panel is uh, dedicated to, to the presentation of the results of the project and then we uh, will discuss with the a lot of uh, speakers uh, on what the European Union, the national government, the regionals do uh, to foster the role of cultural and creative industry in the urban sustainable regeneration projects, what the cities do and what the cultural and creative operators do for the uh, to foster the role of cultural creative industries in this uh, process. But before to start, I want to give the floor to uh, Enzo Marino, head of the uh, economy of the culture sector at the uh, Department of Culture in uh, our region, Apulia region, to address uh, uh, institutional uh, welcome. Thank you, uh, Enzo. Thank you. Thank you, Cinzia. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. And um, uh, first of all, I, I'd like to thank uh, Cinzia and uh, Vincenzo Bellini uh, for the kind invitation to this final event that um, is very, very interesting. And uh, I am um, particularly glad to be here today for this event uh, because um, uh, until last October, uh, I was in charge uh, as project manager um, for the lead partner of an uh, horizontal project, an intermed horizontal project, uh, the social, uh, the social and creative. Um, well, um, since last November, um, I am in uh, the tourism and culture department uh, uh, of Puglia region, and in particular, uh, I'm the head of the economics of culture unit in the department and we deal uh, uh, in um, financial support to theater and um, cinema activities 
um, support to cultural and creative industries and uh, for a cultural uh, association. Well, coming back to, um, <clears throat> to this event, I think that uh, Chimera Plus uh, has uh, demonstrated how cultural and creative sector um, um, can play a, a significant role in the um, urban development uh, processes. And um, with regards to this, uh, um, to the importance of the cultural and the creative sector, I'd like to share with you um, a specific proposal that uh, my unit um, for our regional plan for the period 2021-2027, financed by the European Regional Development Fund and the, the European Social Fund for the next period, um, we have considered that uh, um, in the latest um, years, many small and medium enterprises in Puglia have invested in innovative projects. Uh, with our proposal uh, in particular, uh, we would like to, su to support in a structural way the general objective of developing paths of contamination between the enterprises of the Apollian manufacturing and those operating in the field of cultural production, multimedia, design, communication, conservation and enhancement of the artistic and architect architectural heritage and in the field of the protection of and the enhancement of the landscape. So cultural and creative enterprises become in this way service provider so that products, even those technologically innovative, embed design and formal beauty at the same time. Uh, the investment in culture in this way is a factor of growth and competitiveness for industries. Also, our regional smart specialization strategy for the period 2021-2027, among the areas of innovation, <coughs> provides the promotion of dialogue and collaboration between creative industries and traditional production sectors. Well, the program is very rich and interesting, and so I'm done from my side. I renew my thanks to Cinzia and Vincenzo for the invitation. I give the floor to Cinzia and I wish you a fruitful discussion today. Thank you very much, uh, Enzo. Thank you for uh, your uh, welcome. Well, let's move on uh, our first uh, panel. So I invite uh, to the stage uh, Elena Mengotti from uh, um, Friuli Venezia Giulia region, uh, Aida Duran <laughs> from uh, CERDA, the agency, the development agency of the uh, uh, city of Sarajevo, uh, Simon Mocorell from the municipality of uh, Nova Gorica, and Javier Sancho from uh, Sarga, uh, government of uh, Aragon. Thank you very much uh, to all of you. Uh, Elena, is it your time? <laughs> uh, please, let's uh, uh, start uh, the presentation of the result. Thank you so much, Cinzia. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank very much uh, Vincenzo Bellini and Cinzia La Gioia from Puglia Creativa. Mm, we we knew each other from a long time and they, they are hosting us here uh, in, in a place that is an example of what we're working on because of course this is an example of urban regeneration through culture and creativity. And uh, I would like to thank Cinzia and her team for all the great job they are doing and they did in Chimera Plus project. Uh, my task is to give just a quick, very quick overview, I promise, of Chimera Plus. Uh, our... Okay. Uh, yes, now it works. Uh, Chimera Plus uh, is a capitalization project of Chimera 
uh, project uh, and is uh, called Chimera Plus because it's about uh, CCIs for urban sustainability. Uh, we have, uh, we are lead partners, of course, and uh, we have uh, Creative Apulia Cluster as a communication coordinator. And then we are the giver partners and we work with our three receiver partners that are Sarajevo Economic Regional Development Agency, CERDA, uh, uh, Municipality of Nova Gorica and the government of Aragona. We worked uh, uh, for uh, more, more or less one year, even if we face the pandemic crisis, we work online. And uh, uh, we started from uh, Chimera project and uh, we worked uh, to improve uh, uh, in Chimera project uh, innovation capacities of culture and creative industries, uh, trying to create uh, clusters and work at uh, uh, international level with all stakeholders to improve the support to culture and creativities in our territories. And uh, uh, of course, uh, here there's a meeting in Nice, in France. And uh, of course, we tried to uh, move from uh, Chimera results and translate these results in order to improve CCI's capacities to uh, better uh, urban sustainability in our receiver partners territories. So we developed uh, a new uh, methodology for these tasks uh, and we started from Chimera methodology and adapted it to our new aim. Uh, so we worked in three steps, activating local stakeholder working groups, uh, having an analysis of culture and creative industries in each territory and uh, uh, working to uh, analysis of so-called front runners, so best practices that could inspire us. This is why we uh, had an approach based on a mentoring and capacity building process coming from giver partners and uh, uh, our receiver partners uh, developed uh, a work with new stakeholders in their areas, uh, identified best practices and after my intervention, they will talk about that, that and also defined strategic action plan to support CCIs in their cities and territories. We developed uh, three needs analysis in terms of urban sustainable uh, development and uh, uh, supporting CCI's growth uh, and also supporting the CCI potential in terms of urban development. And then we developed, as I told you before, three front runner analysis. So three analysis of best practices uh, to be inspired by uh, in our receiver partners territories. So we worked analyzing them and uh, we met with them online. Uh, we then developed uh, four workshops of capacity buildings organized by uh, Puglia Creativa. And uh, so we uh, designed four uh, events in order to better CCI's uh, competencies and also uh, availability to, be, to measure themselves with uh, uh, urban sustainable projects. Uh, we developed also three strategic action plans to support CCIs. And then in the end, we developed uh, guidelines uh, after this, our experience, guidelines for policymakers in order to go on with our activities with Chimera Plus results and uh, to leave to policymakers, to regions, to municipalities, to political entities, uh, a sort of guideline for the future. And about the guidelines, we have here uh, Guido Guerzoni in the afternoon that will uh, show us uh, how the guidelines are meant to be. Uh, as uh, regards our activities, uh, we had also one transnational workshop online last uh, 6th of September 2021 uh, in order to uh, transfer the methodology 
of the needs analysis and the front runner analysis and discuss these methodologies. And then we have our transnational event today here in Bari. Uh, the transferring of uh, uh, Chimera methodology uh, was a, a pivotal element for our uh, Chimera Plus project. So, uh, as I told you before, we designed steps in order to analyze what we are doing in, our, in each uh, receiver area and uh, uh, meet with stakeholders and design new policies for CCIs. This is uh, all from my part, and uh, I leave the floor to our partners. Thank you. Well, now it's uh, my time. It's time of Puglia uh, Creativa uh, to present uh, our activity. No. I... Yes, just a minute. Okay. This is the presentation. Is it effective? Mm -hmm. Such a lot. Okay. Okay, sorry, <laughs> some technical uh, problems. When uh, Puglia Creativa was uh, the second uh, giver uh, partners and uh, uh, we had uh, three tasks. Uh, we uh, was responsible for communication activity, for the front runner analysis and for the uh, capacity building. As from the uh, front runner uh, analysis, uh, we uh, have, have has worked uh, to uh, support the receiver uh, partner in the identification of the front runner uh, cases, the front runner uh, uh, example. So, uh, as for the definition, uh, we um, try uh, to uh, involve a city or a region where successful experience of uh, urban uh, sustainability have de developed uh, uh, thanks to the role of cultural and creative uh, industries. So, uh, we work uh, uh, since the uh, October to December of the last uh, year in four steps. Uh, the first step was the identification of the uh, best uh, experience. Uh, we help, we support the uh, receiver partner to, uh, um, to work for the identification of the three uh, cases uh, studies. Uh, the receiver partner established a contact with the uh, front runner then uh, uh, they proceed with a, a front runner interview and uh, they fill a report um, uh, according to a template that uh, Puglia Creativa uh, carried out uh, the choice um, I want to highlight three elements of the uh, front, the result of the front runner uh, analysis, because of course the, uh, the receiver partner will uh, present uh, in a different way the, the, the result. Um, the choice, the common elements, and the difference among the uh, three uh, cases. Of course, the choice is. Uh, um, Different because the different are where the need of the uh, receiver uh, partner. So, uh, Serda, so the city of Sarajevo, uh, choose uh, Lubyansk Grand, the, the castle of Ljubljana. Uh, Sarga, uh, I don't know, I, I am not able to uh, pronounce the, in, uh, in Basque. Uh, maybe <laughs> our Basque friends will uh, help us, but is the Isla Creativa of uh, Sorosau. Sorosauer is La Creativa in uh, Bilbao, and uh, the municipality of Nova Gorica um, chose uh, City of Rijeka, European capital of, of culture, considering that Nova Gorica will be uh, a European capital of the culture in 2025. Uh, 20, sorry. 
common elements, uh, common elements. Uh, first of all, uh, all the three uh, cases are not just a project, but uh, the case is the implementation of several projects with the involvement of a, um, a multi-level uh, stakeholders. So the uh, policy maker for the decision maker uh, process, the um, cultural and uh, creative uh, operators, but also the involvement of the uh, community through a participatory uh, process. Um, of course, uh, the main element in common is that the cultural and creative enterprises are the catalysts of the uh, process. Another very important element is that all the three cases had a huge initial investment, not only public, but public and private uh, investment. And all these three uh, experience, all these three uh, cases had a common result, the implementation of attractiveness of the uh, places um, and, and tourism. Of course, this is a, an important uh, result, but we have known that uh, um, it, it is also a risk considering what could happen when there is a pandemic, uh, uh, the tourism uh, 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 break and uh, uh, the, the problem of the financial sustainability uh, become more uh, important. Distinct elements. Rieka, due to the problem of the pandemic, it is not a, 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 a to say, it is also a, a already an experience in progress. So we uh, was not able to measure the impact of the, uh, the project. But we are sure that considering the planning that they have developed, uh, they, it could be a useful, a very useful uh, um, cases uh, to uh, deep for uh, the next uh, European capital of culture that is uh, Nova uh, Gorica. Uh, Ljubljana Grad. Ljubljana Grad uh, in, it is a, a consolidated uh, experience so it is a very important uh, cases to, uh, to match for the city of uh, uh, Sarajevo but Ljubljana Grad it is the cases that give evidence to the problem that, that could be connected to the uh, tourism. And Bilbao. Bilbao, it is an international uh, phenomenon. It is recognized uh, as international uh, phenomenon. It is a regeneration uh, process of a former uh, uh, in uh, a um, alternative market, uh, art uh, laboratory, and innovation uh, center. Uh, what could be the, the risk? Uh, the, um, to lose uh, its own individuality and uh, independence, uh, considering that it is really recognized as an international case. Well, uh, about the capacity building. Uh, for the capacity building, we uh, organized uh, four online events for uh, technical workshop uh, this year, uh, February and uh, March. Um, Three of these uh, uh, workshops uh, were focused on the role of a cultural and creative industry in the urban sustainable regeneration projects. One of these uh, uh, workshops was dedicated to uh, deep measures to uh, support uh, the uh, development of the CCI sector. So uh, these are our uh, speaker. Uh, the first uh, um, uh, the, the first workshop uh, was dedicated uh, to the uh, presentation of our frontrunner uh, cases. So we hosted uh, the head of the Department of Culture of the Rijeka uh, city, uh, the Marco uh, Brunskog that uh, was an assist assistant uh, of the director at uh, Lubian uh, Lubyansky Grad, and Karim Azri, the creative director of Isla Creativa in uh, uh, Bilbao. Uh, they, we asked them to, uh, um, to present and weakness and uh, um, strengthen, lesson learned and future challenge. 
then uh, the first panel dedicated to the operators. So who are these creative that are able to uh, support uh, urban sustainable regeneration processes. So we involved uh, Jena Cruz, Federico Massa, a muralist artist that is able to um, uh, to create uh, uh, mural uh, able to absorb smog, considering the use of uh, some particular materials. Uh, then uh, Mario Narduli, co-founder of the Pigment Workroom, another street artist that uh, is, uh, with the, is a society recognize abandoned public space and transform it in uh, creative uh, elements of the city with the engagement and involvement of the population of the quarter of the street of the um, the uh, the element. And then Maria Cristina uh, Di Carlentini, coordinator of Farm Cultural Park. This farm, Favara uh, Cultural Park, uh, is an incredible uh, uh, case uh, in which a very small very, very small uh, city in uh, Sicilia, in our island, in the south of, the, at the south of uh, Italy, uh, with design, with culture, and with architecture, transform a small uh, town in one of the most attractiveness at national uh, level. Then, um, what, uh, um, what could be the European Union uh, to support this uh, type of uh, uh, regeneration process. We asked uh, this uh, question to uh, uh, some um, speakers that was involved in a, a European capital of culture experience in uh, Hungary, that was the capital of culture in 2010, he told us what could be a program of uh, 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 what could be uh, uh, for a city host a capital of culture. Uh, it could mean to transform the economy, uh, to give opportunity uh, for a, a regeneration of economy, not only of the uh, city. And then we present also the opportunity that are connected to the UNESCO network of cultural and uh, creative cities, uh, presenting the, the Bologna uh, cases. As for the um, measure of support of cultural and creative uh, industry, we involve, involved uh, Alessandra Proto uh, from OECD that presented a study uh, that they uh, made um, in which they suggest to the uh, policy maker uh, measure to support the cultural creative industry after the pandemic uh, for measure to adopt in a short but also in medium and long uh, period. Uh, then we involve also Gabriele Rosana, policy director of Cultural Action Europe that gave us an overview of the opportunity for the next uh, funding uh, period uh, 21, uh, 27 from the European uh, Union. And we host also Christina Koch, uh, project manager of Austria, uh, Creative Austria, that present one measure that was recognized from uh, UNESCO as one of the best practice to, to support uh, cultural and creative uh, industry that are the, the creative uh, voucher. About the uh, activity of communication, of course, we, uh, first of all, uh, uh, created the communication uh, toolkit, the imagine, the uh, leaflet, the uh, roll up uh, and uh, other uh, communication materials. And then we manage also the uh, website of the project at the social media, um, the social media uh, network of the uh, project, uh, starting from the uh, first, first project, starting from uh, Chimera uh, page uh, and account of the social 
social network. Of course, we can uh, uh, give evidence that uh, uh, there is a growth trend in all uh, the social uh, network, as so, well, thanks uh, uh, not only to the activity of Puglia Creativa, but also thanks to the partner that share with us information and news. So this is all for uh, our part. And now uh, I give the floor to Aida uh, Dura for the presentation of the result of Serda uh, uh, for the uh, Sarajevo, uh, city of Sarajevo. Thank you. So, um, good morning to everyone. Uh, on behalf of Sarajevo Economic Region Development Agency, Serda and myself, I want to greet you all. And I want to say I'm very honored to be here today with you. And I really want to express my great gratitude to the, all efforts made by the, the partners for organizing this event since Cinzia said that this was supposed to be an online uh, activity, but I think that this would be opportunity really to meet ourselves in face to face and to generate maybe some new ideas for new, I believe, new projects that we can implement with, with, uh, within the partnership together. Since this was very intensive work of last year, but with very concrete results. So Serda was one of the receiving partner from the project. So briefly, I will do the present you the, the results that we have achieved and the partners that we were involved and the ideas that were generated at the end. So, but before that, I would like to briefly introduce you the organization I'm coming from. Uh, so Serda is regional development agency that was funded in 2003. And uh, our founders are Sarajevo Canton, two cities, Sarajevo City and East Sarajevo City and 32 municipalities of Sarajevo macro region. It means that all projects that we are implementing, and so far we have more than 300 different projects implemented, are implemented with, within the partnership of our founders. So uh, the mission of Serda is to create a positive environment for sustainable economic development in the region and to advance, strengthen and promote development of the region with all resources available, of course, with an aim goal to support Bosnia and Herzegovina to approach EU integration. So uh, the, we like to call the chimera. I heard you call it chimera. We call it chimera, but never mind. <laughs> we have some French taste inside. Uh, but what we actually uh, had to do at the very beginning, we had to choose our area of intervention. We have to choose the partners to work with, and we have to choose the main goal we want to achieve. So we decided since Sarajevo, uh, city of Sarajevo is one of our founders, but it's, uh, uh, it's very rich in its cultural, uh, let's say, uh, heritage. So we wanted and creativity and all what creative and cultural sectors means actually. So we, we decided to focus on the area of city in Sarajevo, which is the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. I don't know if some of you had the opportunity to come, but this is the opportunity to invite you all to come. Uh, it uh, has four municipalities and it's, uh, uh, I put some pictures for you just to have imagined uh, what is all about. We are a small city, but very rich in cultural in diver diversity. And it's something you should feel, not, not only see on the picture, I, I believe. Uh, first uh, thing that we have done is uh, we have formed the local stakeholders group. We decided to work with museums as representatives of cultural and creative industries. Why museums? They are very rich. They have to. Uh, they they have a lot of things to offer, but I think that also they have a lot of opportunities for taking advantage of incorporating themselves in urban sustainability, which was the main goal, I would say, in the project. So we formed a stakeholders group comprising uh, 
four museums, five museums uh, located in Sarajevo, uh, but also associations that are active in uh, cultural and creative industries and Sarajevo Film Festival as one, I would say now, a brand of in Sarajevo as a festival that is connecting a lot of different sectors uh, and giving them uh, a wider picture of urban sustainability as well. So we wanted to put them in this context of museums and to try to link them in a, in a way to be urban sustainable, to create some new contents that are uh, sustainable, not only uh, 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 economically, but also uh, socially, innovatively, and so on. And then the third thing we done is that we defined the urban sustainability objective that, and it, this was the, let's say, main idea that we were led by during the project. It was making access and use of the museum network sustainable, smart and green by creating new contexts around between and between city museums in order to make the dimension of urban sustainability visible to citizens and tourists. So, as Shinsia said, we had to start from the very beginning to make the needs analysis. What are we, uh, what are we doing and what are we, what are they, our needs? So, uh, in, a, in a huge time of pandemic, we uh, succeed to organize. You can see pictures here with masks. Uh, it was, I think, 10, uh, 10 days period in which we can organize something because we were closed before and after that. But we succeed to organize the event and we comprise the, the all stakeholders, stakeholders of the working group. And we have to interact, we had two interactive workshops on which all ideas were generated. Uh, we were led by defining our goal, by the, uh, the, uh, defining the role of CCIs in urban sustainability and by role of the citizens as well in urban sustainability process. And uh, we uh, were lucky to have very concrete ideas that afterwards were incorporated in the strategic action plan. You will see afterwards what was the, actually the, the concrete results of all this. But we also made the desk research in order to revise strategic documents in the field, uh, analysis made, and then we made that needs analysis within the Shimera project. Then we choose a city which is very likely to Sarajevo in terms of organization, in terms of size, and I believe that we really choose big front runner as a good example of how city of Sarajevo could do things with culture, cultural and creative industries. And we made the front analysis uh, based on their cases, best practice cases in how they developed ideas for generating uh, uh, sustainable contents uh, in the urban area of Ljubljana city. Cinzia already mentioned some main conclusions on it. And the third part is that based on the needs analysis, based on front-runner analysis, and uh, motivated by, by the ideas generated, we developed finally the strategic action plan with aim that I already defined. So it was like making contents around the, the museum on a sustainable way. And we did it in defining main sets of activities that were divided into, I would say, six areas. So in these slides, I will not go through each of the line, but just for you to, to give you the overview, what we really uh, identified as the very specific measures and very concrete ones, is that the first group of activities were connected to establishment of working group that's supposed to uh, lead the process of uh, creating the, the, the new ideas for uh, in the creative and cultural uh, industries for uh, urban sustainability. Uh, this activity is to be implemented, uh, I think, mainly on the results and best practice so stories of Ljubljana since they really had a strong uh, tool, I would say, 
strong connections with City of Ljubljana, with their administration and everything that they do, they do together. And this, this is very big and important pillar for them and for their success. So we really wanted to incorporate this model of administrating. Uh, the second sets of measures were uh, focused on improving energy efficiency in cultural and creative industries, where the activities of conducted energy audit with concrete measure of uh, improvements are to be conducted. Uh, also, some activities for using smart city platforms and circular economy principles are incorporated in this set of activities. Uh, third set of activities uh, is supposed to be focused on improving sustainability by creating new contents around and between city museums. That means uh, some uh, open. Air to, uh, that means giving function to some uh, open areas around the museums, new urban sustainable contents. Uh, but also procurement on some equipment and furniture that would let's say, create that uh, new context around. And of course, using uh, urban green solutions recommendations within the implementation process. Our group of activity uh, is uh, focused on improving economic sustainability and touristic offering, where some activities that are commercial, commercially uh, sustainable are uh, proposed to be uh, applied within the museums, like uh, involving some uh, shopping, shopping activities like creating small souvenir shops, galleries and local product stores, uh, catering activities, space rental activities, uh, but also uh, 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 everything that is connected to, to uh, urban sustainable economically sustainable solutions. Uh, of course, that we always uh, have to focus on some infrastructure to be to be in place. So here are defined some basic procurements of equipment that were needed by each of the museums involved. And at the end, the final list of activities that was related to introducing sustainable urban and green solutions since we are also uh, considering that uh, uh, environmental impacts as well, since everything we do has to be green at the same time. So uh, at the end, I have to say that uh, we put in a procedure, this strategic action plan, we put it in a procedure of uh, 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 official adopting in a January, and I must say that I'm happy that Sarajevo City adopted officially the strategic action plan. And I believe that this is the crucial point in sustainability of our project and added value of the project. I'm very happy for that because now I believe that we really have a base for uh, acting concretely on each specific action, but also believe that we have a document for uh, developing some new uh, Chimera plus three, four, and five projects. <laughs> so that was all from my side. Uh, of course, I'm staying at your disposal for any other questions you may need. And thank you all for your attention. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Aida, it is great news uh, that you exposed to us, you shared with us. We are very happy that how our work had a, a, a great result. Well, Simon, is your time. Simon Mocorel from the municipality of Nova uh, Gorica. Good morning. Buongiorno, come si dice in italiano? Buenos dias in spagnolo. Dobro jutro, like in our country. So, uh, basically when I listen to all of this presentation, I don't know exactly what to say because you say almost everything. May I say something about me? Mm -hmm. I was 30 years working in private sector. I have my own company, so I'm on the different side of the public sector. So maybe at the beginning, I working with the creative industries for, from the beginning, I'm creative director for the, a lot of 
a lot of products at the end and at end of my working in the private sector, I closely work with the public sector. So I try to understand how public sector react on all of these uh, interventions, what the creative sector wants to have. So now I'm working for one year in the municipality of Novogorica. Our office called development office, but still they don't know exactly what we have to do because it's very difficult to start uh, thinking or changing minds of the politicians where we don't have exact economical input or public input. So how to present to them a very good or best practices all around the world, all around Europe. It's not necessary to all around the world. Uh, and where to start to present it, that start, that they start to believe that something could change and the innovation and creation, creativity is more and more important in the future. We, we saw that with the pandemic, also now with the war in the Ukraine, we have to rethink of something, what we, how we can do, which project we will open, how the social in, intervention or social innovation take place in our society or in our, our cities and so on. Maybe we mm -hmm. have, mm -hmm. let's say, this opportunity because we will be European capital of culture in 2035 with a strong partnership, partnership with Gorizia and Italy. Uh, so this is the new challenge for us, also the challenge for the Gorizia and also the challenge for the region, how we could combine this. So we have to invent some new social innovation uh, how we could, let's say, work together in the best or better future. And we know exactly that we have to define some kind of new, new cultural ecosystem between two cities, between two administrations, between two states, between two, I don't know how many differences we have, but still we have something common that we could go, go in the future. So, here. Okay, uh -huh. okay. I'm high, high advisor, something like high advisor to the mayor, but still, if we don't have a team who believe there's something which could change with innovation and creativity, it's not necessary who is the chief, who is the head. So we have three of us, Thea is one of us, Mita is second one. We do the best <clears throat> for the city, for the society, how society has to be changed. If you want to reach all of these missions, all of these aim objectives which European or society in the world or your native nation give us to us to, to do. Uh, okay, okay. So basically kickoff meeting in, in the end of the July, presentation, parties and so on, first workshop. All of this was for us very good, not only for us, but especially for our politician we just start to understand that this is very important to think about. Mm -hmm. If we, let's say, have on the one side the economy, every city has to have the economy. You know, you know or you don't know that if the city of Vienna wants to rise, to develop, they have to have each year 20,000 more people, inhabitants who live in Vienna. If they don't do that, it's not possible. So we're trying to think how to, Nova Gorica, but Nova, Nova Gorica is very small, okay, with Gorica, we are third biggest city in Slovenia. It's still Gorica in Italy, but altogether in economic way, we're third biggest city in this region, in Slovenia, also from the Slovenia side. So we start thinking about how all of the person, all the people who work in the creative sector could put the best that we could be the best. And at the end, if we have this word European, what does this mean? So what does it mean European? Be European of what? Be European. So how we could present this? Yes, this, this city, it's a very small city, but still at the end is European city for one year. So all of this World Cafe coordination meeting, uh, workshops, which was done very good, the both ways, Cynthia and Elena, very many thanks for all of your efforts and that's because if you, if you don't have you, I don't think how we could go because it's a very, a, a lot of projects around. So many thanks for that. So we think now how we had to change. And the end, we have finished our sustainability urban strategy, which we now in the 
uh, we finish the strategic part. It's also important mm -hmm. that a lot of innovation and a lot of creativity we put in the strategic part of our urban sustainability uh, strategy. Now we are starting to working on an activity plan. And also what we learned here from the chimera, 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 <laughs> we put in there. So yes, we, we have a lot, a very good team around us. We did this capacity building, but still have to do something more on that. Okay, uh, this was one inspiring <coughs> uh, things. Uh, in front of me was Mia, no? if you know her. She's a very good startup uh, director and also very creative person. We are sorry because he left us, but still we were working together with her in the, in the, in the future. They opened this understanding, this challenge for us, be a hero of zero. So how we could understand where the, the creative industry, where the innovation, social innovation could help to be zero emission city. And that's opened a new question for us and Ms. Pelt of Novogorica proposed the proposal to the European Commission on the mission 100 neutral uh, climate neutral city in the future 2030. Mm -hmm. We didn't mm -hmm. receive, the, we didn't want that, but still we go in the that direction because we have this direction in, the, in the, our urban development strategy, sustainable development strategy. Front runner, for us, yes, First, it was near TA from the Swiss, Norway, I don't know exactly from where. We changed it to the Rijeka. Rijeka has a very good experience how to establish and how to work uh, and conduct at the end on very good uh, impact and results in the capital of culture. They have a problem with pandemic, but they still have the results. Not if you listen, if you read the newspapers, they've fallen down, they, they uh, not agree on everything that they have a problem, they don't build something, but they produce something, start. They put the seat in the city. And this is, this is important part. If we put the seat in the city with the creative industry, this is the very good. So when we, when we try to understand and analyze the front runner at the end, the world of capital of culture, be a cap European capital of culture is just the beginning. Just some kind of experience. We have to experience all of that time to, till 2025. Check on the field, how the creative industry, how the innovation, how the people in Europe think you can understand. And then we will produce this so-called result, which will be, let's say, see the first time in 2030 or at the end 2050. But we have to go in that direction. So this analyze helps us to understand that we cannot and we don't go in the direction, put something on the 25, put it open, work in progress, all of the time work in progress, create, create, creation is work in progress. And think also this part when we want to establish the uh, infrastructure on that, that we not close and put something, just a building there, but we, all the time has to be the work in progress in that. Also, urbanistic part, architecture part, and at, the, at last, the content part. Six minutes. Okay. Three workshops mentioned, but since uh, I didn't talk about that, so the action plan, plan at the end. Establish a cross border culture ecosystem in two cities. Uh, okay. Maybe the, the sentence is okay, but how to do that? Uh, we see. Now, in year, year, because we have this award at one year in a few months, uh, working on that, that we have a lot, a lot, to, a lot to do. So how to combine these two cultural ecosystems into one common, common ecosystem? It's very hard challenges for us, for Novgorica, for Gorica, and also for the, our states and also for the region. So we have to have in mind these targets that at the end, if we have some kind of methodology, principles, how to do that, it will be very good. And present it is 2025 because all of the Europe has to has this in mind, how they connect different cities, different cultures. Improve the culture of the cultural vibrancy of the area. <clears throat> yeah, we have to 
work on that we have, uh, let's say, monitoring, mapping, a lot of organization, start building the group, capacity building all around us, preparing the spaces where they could work, present, and so on. At the end, how we could do with the audience. So we still have the problem for the audience because our people, our inhabitants, still don't understand what we reach with the world of the capital of culture. So it's a work, 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 and work. Increased capacity, cross-sector cooperation, yeah, very difficult how the creativity sector work with all, all the artists, work with the, the economy. We start now with four workshops on this methodology, how we could connect art scene with the economical. So with the companies and where they have, let's say, possible also at the end have the economical impact of that. We will finish with that. <clears throat> I will show you where we are now. So from all of this understanding, we define a very huge area around 100 hectares. This mm -hmm. is 100,000 square meters, which has <clears throat> on that part degraded nothing. There was a, a train station, but all degraded area around. And this is the green. This is the Italian, the Italian San Gorica Castle. And this is our park which is in Nova Gorica. And we define this area as eco district. So district of European capital of culture. So this at the end will be the legacy of the, of the, of the uh, European capital of culture. We, have, we are now in the communication with Gorica, but also the Gorica prepare the part in the Gorica, which will be the part of eco, of eco districts. And we, in this district, we have the place where we could put the social innovation, how these two cultures, two economy, two administration could work together in one district because we have every, almost everything done. So how <coughs> we go in two minutes, okay? So we think we have to put the university campus in this area because the students are those who produce new innovation. And we have to leave the space to them. Leave we prepare around 40,000 square meters of the area to the students to become a new university campus with new, with new programs. First with the Peter Pumagimi, faculty of hum, your part, your dean of humanities. Okay, this is one which will be the architecture, urbanism of the space, how we could urbanize this and so on and so on. We renovate all of the train station <coughs> with the building and all of all of surrounding and at the end we have the part of the art center where we could let's say present the all of the outcomes all of the results to the wider people wider people to uh, on this time on 2025 so Yes, I, yeah. <laughs> I know that you have a talk of that, so I don't want to be <laughs> take it your part, take your part. <clears throat> yeah, yes. this one. So thinking about we have 100, 100 hectares of place where we, where we could do all together the experiments and try to experiment there how this let's say actions react on both sides and where we can find this common, common field where, where we could uh, work together. 45 seconds, I, mean, I think that we're finished. Yes, yes we're finished. thank you very much for listening to me. <laughs> Perfect, Simo. <laughs> well, a very challenged uh, program, a very interesting. Uh, we are curious, we want to, to come to Nova Gorica in uh, 2020, maybe with the Chimera or Chimera third, fourth, <laughs> and so on. Well, <laughs> Javier, is your time? Javier is from uh, Sarga and Development Agency of the Government of Aragon in Spain. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna give it here because and my the, partners and explain a lot of things and I'm gonna be good. Anyway, uh, in the case of Aragon, we, we have a different point of view for the project because 
uh, in the case of Aragon, we have started uh, from a successful uh, cultural events and initiatives. Um, we have uh, we have moved these initiatives to the rural areas. Uh, thanks to the pandemic, the pandemic has been a nightmare. It's clear, but uh, we have been we, we have realized that we have an opportunity, a different opportunities. For example, uh, you know, in, in Spain, it's not like the, the rest of the European countries because we have uh, seventeen regions, but each region is like a country. Oh, the presidents of these regions thinks that are the presidents of the uh, a new country. Um, for example, in the during the pandemic, every 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 region has the have the their own rules to move during the pandemic. You know, for example, in my in, in our region, we, you only can move into your county. And in my county, it's it's quite. It's quite hard because it's a desert. Imagine a desert. You only can move into every country. You have the Pyrenees, you have the mountains, you have the sea quite close, but you, you only have moved to the country. It's like, come on, you know, <laughs> where, 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 where can we go? Like, no, nothing, because I have nothing to say. That the, the small villages is not, are not very beautiful. So, but some of the initiatives are going to show you on the, after the, one of the, the the, crea the creators of uh, this event is going to spend you the, the project. So that, so that uh, it was a very good initiative to move a tourist, a different tourist, uh, and a different initiative for the rural areas. Uh, yeah, this is an example. You know, this is a, a small village for my uh, county. It's a small village with 100, 100 habitants. And in 100 habitants, during the pandemic, it, it's, it's this, this, this village is quite close to the capital. It's Portuguese. Villages. They had to stop the cars. Stop the cars because nobody can enter the village because there are plenty of people watching an initiative of street art, but in the small village, not in a city. Yeah, this is the second the second edition for this, and all the all the all the small villages are plenty of art uh, for the art event, and it's a successful example. For example, that you can move the culture, and the culture move the people, and the initiative, or cultural initiative move the people to the, to the different sites. Or, well, for example, for these sites, and nobody nobody goes to to Alpha Man to see anything. But thanks to the to the event, to the cultural event, the people move to see the art. Okay, on Sega Kimera Plus, we have performed some uh, work coffee with, with our stakeholders, need analysis from financing and action plan as, as, the, as the reps of the parents. The work, play, uh, work coffee took place in Tregoza in fact, October. Uh, we have 16 people attended, and 16 people, very young people that uh, have moved uh, new initiatives in our city and uh, new initiatives in our rural areas. Because some of these partners has done, for example, the, the, bringing the Rolling Stones is quite easy. You only need millions of euros, you know? But you, you can, but you can compete with uh, Barcelona or London or some shit, like, for example, like Sarajevo, 300 people, you can, you can compete with London. But you, you have to find the nest, the nest uh, sex doors, you know, because there are a lot of people that love jazz, for example. You can specialize in jazz, you can specialize in a different street art. But you, you cannot contract Banksy or Banksy or something like that, you know, you, you have to, to try to find your, your place in the world. And, you, and these people is moving, uh, and our stakeholders are, are moving uh, in a nice, in a nice point of view from, from my side, eh? the, a nice point of view of the culture. Because, for example, Festival Asalto started in, in Zaragoza, in the capital, and, and now it's moving for the rural areas, thanks to the street art. La Sarma Association is a, it's a space like this, in our disadvantaged area and, and dodgy area in Zaragoza, that, that have recovered there a lot of spaces, and have recovered this area for the, for the common people. Sorry for the common people, but it's a not sure area, and now it's an area that in the, the weekend, especially the weekends, a lot of people move to, to the different trans markets, to different art, art exhibitions, and the rest of the, the rest of the quarter is, is growing up. 
is great we now with the new bars new restaurants and this is the importance of the culture and the uh, and the, and the creative industry uh, the Bosque Sonora is so is, uh, i'm so proud for these stakeholders because they are my friends my my childhood friends they have organized a, a, a indie festival pop festival in our village for 100 people and moving like the last edition move during the pandemic they'll move more than 10,000 people with security measures and security is incredible okay association is uh, it's an, another association that moves uh, culture for the say, street uh, uh, city culture to the rural areas uh, the governments and the different university okay so the, some photos from my colleagues and the workshop uh, and the uh, the, um, the the first one is related to sustainable regeneration initiatives. We started to to watch the this initiative that uh, works in the rural area and in the cities. And the second one is to to do achieve some to do something global for sustainability regeneration, especially because uh, moving to the to all the parts and all in the cities. Because uh, uh, my region is a uh, is a special region. It's just, my region is twice Belgium's margins, surface is twice in Belgium's, and we only live 1,300,000 people, people. And 1,100,000 people live in Zaragoza, the capital. The rest is empty. And we have a lot of mountains, we have a lot of beautiful villages, we have a lot of things, but it's empty. And we, have, we are very, very affected by the population, and we need to do anything new. Because the tourists, obviously, you can you can compete with tourists if you have the Adriatic Sea, or you can Positania or Mare. No, it's, it's quite easy to move this village, or it's quite easy. If you are from Venice, it's quite easy to move the tourists. And <laughs> it's not the case. We have a historical village. We have a, more, a very beautiful mountains, but we need to create a new idea to move the people. And this idea. Could, could throw up uh, about the culture and the creative industry. For the reason, uh, we have we have uh, we have checked some initiatives, right? Festival Asalto, um, I'm, 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 I'm not going to explain you because my colleague is going to explain you later. The Spatula Armas is like the, the Spatula, like this, this site in Zaragoza. We have a same made in Zaragoza. It, it's a network of creative entrepreneurs. The Mercado de las Luces is a new free market in Zaragoza. El Bosque Sonoro, this is the image, the image of, the bosque, uh, of the Bosque Sonoro. You can see here, uh, this is a small village that uh, has created uh, close to the river uh, a music festival. And um, we have also taken... Uh, sorry? Uh, sorry. Okay, we have also uh, analyzed and the tactical urbanists, the different tactical urbanists during the... Uh, creative place market. Uh, in the tactical urbanism, we have uh, highlight the Estonia Solar. It's an amazing initiative. It was an upper grade, final, final post grade work. The one people thinks, okay, that we have a lot of, a lot of uh, empty space into the city. Okay, and you can, you can do anything with blue few money. Eh? For example, you can, you can see small small gardens with uh, recycling elements. You can do you can do place to places to to the chills for for playing, and all all the idea with a minimum investment and and taking account with the neighborhood. This is quite important, in, especially in the degraded areas. Um, Okay, obviously we have seen it, we have checked and we have analyzed the, the different initiatives for Zaragoza. I don't want to explain because it's too, it's, uh, it's too extensive. Uh, uh, we, have, uh, we have checked also the, in the local planning practices, for example, Idea Zaragoza, that is an idea for the creative citizen participant. And this idea, uh, we are trying to move to the rest of the regions because we have, uh, we have we are divided in, in small counties. And we are trying to make a, a, a platform for citizen participation, talking about creative industries in, in our counties, in small counties. 
with oil. And if, uh, um, for example, we can move the Imaginative Party as a, a good initiative into uh, to the Saragossa capital. But you, uh, we want to move uh, the ideas and the suggestions and the exhibitions for the rest of the region. For the rest of the region to try to, for example, because if, if you have, we have a skin place in Aragon, but the skin place has a problem, have a problem. You only have tourists within four months on during their summer, three months. Okay, all, all your activities are for seven months, but okay, why, why don't you move some initiative that you are doing in the capital for the skin place to, to attract people with the culture? Usually works, we are going to try it. And the conclusion for this analysis that the COVID crisis has deeply affected our cultural agents. It's clear because we have been stopped within two years. And I have fucking it. Yeah, I, I like to move a lot of my mind in two years in my house. <laughs> for me, for me, the COVID has been very, very hard. Uh, <laughs> And Zaragoza uh, has a lot of initiatives to hold cultural crisis and we can move for the rest of Zaragoza. Um, and it's just a, a tiny this need for to prevent this analysis. Because the CCS involved administration and citizens to order to really be able to understand what behind the system is the payment. So it's uh, something we don't have the skills, so we don't, we don't understand very perfectly the, the idea of sustainability or the idea of the both administrations in a uh, different way. It's the, when the stakeholders has an idea that the something the administration of. Okay, uh, the front runner analysis is uh, going to be very brief because I think Jose uh, is going to explain. This talk of Taurer in Bilbao is amazing. It's, this is amazing. This is an initiative. But the past people do the things quite well. <laughs> it's a fact, especially in Bilbao. Uh, Sam is going to explain you later, but imagine that if this this island is uh, is um, very close to the to the Guggenheim Museum, uh, it's the Bripet of uh, the Guggenheim Museum, and um, it was a a, a landfill, a landfill of con uh, dangerous contamination, and now it's an initiative with a lot of cultural initiatives, universities, uh, it's incredible. Incredible and it's sustainable from the point in the economic point of view, uh, sustainable for the sustainability the idea. You know, the, this one is a very good example that you can do try to, to invest the money that you earn for the building, building initiatives, the residential initiatives. You can use this money to make a, a city, to make city, not only to make money. The so the sour is a cultural initiative, amazing. The sound is going to explain you later, but it's, it's yeah, this is the universities, the housing, this is the part of the housing that has paid the rest of the initiative <laughs> with the rest of the building. If, uh, we have some initiatives similar to Zaragoza, for example, Zaragoza Activa, this is a former factory of sugar, and uh, we have a uh, uh, Culture, uh, a culture uh, industry uh, joined to the to this building, We're hosting the Vivero Emprendedores with the entrepreneurs, the ideas, la colaboradora. Uh, with uh, they have a community. It has a community for eighty thousand people that works in the culture area. Uh, an initiative that moved the, the la Cucarera. and we have the action plan. The our action plan the. The, the, the main point of the, our action plan is increase the knowledge of studies. Participants are decision making process on local communities to defend initiatives to, to be oriented to transform rural areas in sustainable development laboratories. This is the idea that we have repeated during the speech. Good news. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's that the idea that I have repeated. The, the thing that we think that we can move the, the culture for the rural areas and replicate the models in a lot of places. Replica the the, st the strategies by recovering public places and to certain facilities for development of cultural initiatives. Hybridation facilities is because, uh, and even, uh, and even the, if you want to uh, 
to, to achieve the, the, the sustainability of the event, the first point is economic sustainability. Because if you want uh, an event, a um, festival, or uh, something like that, uh, uh, repeat during the years, you need that. This event, you need to make this event sustainability for the economical point of view. Because you, can, you cannot depend always for the public administrations. Because you are a hostage for the public administration. Because, you know, I need this group. No, no, no. It's important independence. It's important that uh, from the economic point of view and then from the sustainability point of view. Obviously, the public administrations could be a lot of things, like, for example, grant only the, only the events that, for us, uh, that achieve a sustainability point of view, or uh, ki kilometer zero uh, for the catering, uh, and, uh, and renewable energies, public transport, these kind of things. But it's important that the event has their own sustainability plan economic system in the plan. Okay, post the network, monitoring the performance. Yeah, it's, it's the same for all, the, the culture is common for all the Europe. Okay, uh, we, have, we have also adapted our policy market, policy makers guide for, for our regional, for, no, not only for our regional, for our counties, for our city councils, um, taking account parameters to be sustainability. For example, the cutting kilometer of zero, uh, local producers, uh, public transport, renewable energies, uh, um, recycling materials, this kind of things. Uh, Taking account the new form, the new forms expressions and the change to the ways of working. Because uh, pr probably, not, no, I love Europe. No, I love the, the, the idea of the European Union. I love it. But probably, uh, probably there are a lot of a lot of initiatives like this in in the rest of Europe. Probably you, you cannot contract uh, an important group, but if you talk with three, four uh, festivals, uh, three, four music festivals in, in Italy, in London, you can you can do frame of contracts and and, uh, and, uh, and take the synergies from the rest of the events. And I think it's quite important to move in this area. Especially because uh, there are a lot of the, the population is a, a, a common problem in the rest of Europe. And um, in this moment, countries uh, like France, France, just the idea, uh, France idea, the all the rural village has problems with the population, and we have to talk. We have to talk for whole Europe to make initiatives. Okay, that's all because Cynthia is wants to finish. <laughs> Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Sorry, Ayer, but the agenda is very, very, very full. So I thank you uh, very much, Ola, our partner, one year of work, but very hard, uh, very hard work. And now I hand the panel guide to Elena Mengotti for the, we are starting at the second panel, but I want just only uh, say to you two things. Uh, on the white wall, you can find uh, the password uh, for the free uh, Wi-Fi and feel free to go to the bar for a, have a coffee. We give you uh, two tickets, so to have a coffee, uh, Cornetto, orange juice, uh, water, what you want. Okay, uh, well, uh, thank you, Elena. I